guys, welcome back. So today I have another packing video. I recently uploaded a what I pack in my carry-on suitcase and I showed you guys everything that we took on our recent trip. We had absolutely no check bags and a ton of you were asking about my makeup and my toiletry items where I put them. And I actually put them in a little purse. It's basically just like a Rebecca Minkoff little backpack type of thing, but I really like it because you can strap it on your back and you can be hands-free when you travel. The point of this video is going to be to show you guys what makeup items I took with me on the trip, how I pack them to avoid having to check any bags. As you guys know, they have pretty strict restrictions on what you can take on your carry-on luggage. There's a liquid rule where you can only take containers that are smaller than three ounces and those containers must fit within a little bag. And this is the bag that I take with me. It's just a makeup bag. I have all my makeup in here and all of my liquids. So if I wanted to, I could actually split up all of my non-liquid makeup and put in a separate bag. For that, you had to have a Ziploc bag, like a clear Ziploc bag and be able to fit everything in there. But for the past two, three years, this is what I've been using and it's worked out perfectly and I'm really sorry if you guys continue to hear my husband in the background. I've never had any issues with this. So I don't take this on my carry-on suitcase, I take it on my purse because when you go through the TSA checkpoint, they make you take out the bag that has all your liquids and they make you take that out and put it in a separate container. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you what I keep in here. The first thing I take is a perfume bottle and this is the Chance by Chanel which happens to be my very favorite, my absolute favorite perfume. It's the pink, the pink bottle. I do have a very specific skincare regime that I follow every morning and every night, but when I'm on vacation, I'm not gonna take everything. Number one, I don't wanna risk breaking anything. Number two, everything's over three ounces. For the most part, my creams are under three ounces. First thing I take is a face cream, and this is the Extra Repair Moisture Cream. And I just ended up using that for my whole face, for under my eyes, and for day and nighttime. Going just a few days without following my whole skincare regimen is not gonna kill me. Something that I do have to have with me at all times is my SK2 Essence, which is basically the liquid anti-aging. So I have this Bobbi Brown container that went empty. So I just filled it with my SK2 and I popped that in my makeup bag. And then of course I took a lip balm and the lip balm that I took is the Lip Magic uh, Rejuvenating Smoothing lip balm by Charlotte Tilbury. This lip balm happens to be my favorite at the moment and it smells it smells really good. It smells like honey. So that's all I took for skincare. Oh, um, I also took some makeup remover wipes. Ah, have it here. I took some makeup remover wipes. These are my absolute favorite at the time. They're by Neutrogena. They're just the cleansing palettes. Now for makeup, you guys are probably going to think like that's all you took or some of you are gonna think, Wow, that's way more than you need. Either way, I did have a problem with overpacking makeup in the past. Like almost 95% of the time, I never used all the makeup that I pack with me. So a little tip that I can give you guys is if you know you're going on a trip, like two to three days before you take your trip, wherever you do your makeup, have your makeup bag that you're gonna be taking with you. Have it there and then as you use items, put them in your makeup bag because that way you won't forget anything critical and it'll kind of get you in the mindset of, what am I gonna need when I go there? I have forgotten very basic things in the past. Like I forgot my bronzer one time and I was was really upset. This time I brought every single thing I needed and I was so proud of myself. I took two foundations. I took the It Cosmetics CC Cream, which has SPF 50. That's the main reason that I wanted to take this one because it has SPF and it would kind of just allow me to take one less product so I didn't have to take uh, SPF for my face and I could use this in the daytime. And then I took a full coverage foundation, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, ultra humidity proof. It's like everything proof. In the daytime, if I wanted a little bit more coverage and this wasn't doing it, I would just add a little drop of this one into my CC cream and then apply it and it was perfect. I took one setting powder. I took Diffuse Light by Hourglass. I would have taken Dim Light by Hourglass, but unfortunately I'm completely out of it and I haven't repurchased a new one which I need to go ASAP. That is my favorite setting powder. I really liked it because it kept my face nice and bright and it still allowed my face to look dewy. Going to a humid place, it would just look really weird to have a completely matte face. I don't know, I just think it would, it would look very unnatural. So the next face product that I took is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. This is the ultimate travel thing because it has the bronzer and highlight 
two in one and after using it I love 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 the bronzer I know a lot of people don't care for the bronzer they just buy it for the highlight but I love the bronzer I've been using it I'm using it today I just think it's absolutely beautiful then the highlight of course you guys know that highlight is everything I mean look at that it's gorgeous can't waste that highlight that is precious stuff for blush I took one blush it's like a dusty rose with a little bit of brown undertones it's by uh, makeup forever hd in the color 335 it has to be my most neutral blush that i own and it just goes with everything and i wanted a blush that went with every single thing that i took i also took one concealer i was actually debating whether i wanted to take this one or my nars one but i went with this one because it's a little bit lighter the coverage is lighter, but it does have a, a better brightening effect than my NARS one does. I took exactly four things for my eyes. The first thing is a eyeshadow palette, and I actually stuck the eyeshadow palette in my purse because I didn't want to take enough space in my makeup bag, and it's not liquid, so it's fine if it stays in there. Every single color that comes in here is perfect for daytime or nighttime. The cover is nice and hard, so I didn't have to worry about it breaking. This one and the Chocolate Bar 2 palette, the Semi Sweet palette, perfect travel palettes because of the case and the variety of colors. Second thing I took, of course, my HD eyeliner from Tom Ford. Can't live without this. Seriously, I love this stuff. This stuff does not budge. When I'm ready to take it off, I have to really work the makeup remover into my eyes to get this to come off. It's really, really good. I actually had eyelash extensions during my trip, but I did take a mascara for my bottom lashes. So I just take this little baby Chanel. And then of course I took my Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil for my eyebrows and that's all I took. The lip department is where I still can't seem to really narrow it down to less than two items. So I did take a few lip products. I took one lip liner. This is NYX and Ever, my favorite drugstore lip liner. It's like a perfect My Lips Look Better type of color. So it goes with all of my favorite types of lipsticks. And then I took a liquid matte lipstick. This is Lolita by Kat Von D. And then I took this one, Bad Girl Riri. It's that color that's really, really similar to 1995 from Gerard Cosmetics. This is my favorite lipstick ever. It's uh, the YSL in number three, the perfect nude color for me. When I'm in doubt and I don't know what lipstick to wear, I reach for this. It never lets me down, ever, ever. And the last thing that I took, which I actually ended up taking this with me everywhere I went. Like, I was applying this 24-7. It's liquid crack. That's what it is. It's one of the new YSL Tinted Oil. It has very little color. I mean, hardly any. It's just, like, clear. It feels like an oil. It keeps your lips nice and hydrated. It smells so, so good. It just adds a pretty little tint of color to your lips and like a little bit of shine and it's just very pretty and feels good and smells good. And then a while back I bought this or I think I got this in a 100 point perk at Sephora, these little Urban Decay sprayers and I actually filled one of them up with Fix Plus and then I filled the other one up with my Smashbox water spray, the one that you apply to hydrate. You can always find these little travel size things at Sephora by the little checkout line. So if you ever have a Holy Grail product that the bottle is just a little too big and you have to take it with you go to the checkout line at Sephora and see if they have it there in a travel size because chances are they probably do, especially if it's a really popular product. Honestly, most foundations don't come in containers larger than three ounces. This foundation is only one ounce, so I had no problem taking this on my carry-on. So just check your foundation. You know, you may think that you can't take it on the airplane with you, but you'll, you may realize that you can. If you're wondering, like, where do I put my... Um, shampoo and body wash. Most of the time, wherever we go, the hotel already provides shampoo and body wash, and they're really good brands. You can go on their website. There's usually a page that will tell you everything that your hotel room includes, and you can see on there what brands of shampoo they have, what brands of soap, so you don't even have to pack soaps a lot of times. Hope you guys found this video helpful, and if you missed that last video of my carry-on suitcase, again, I will leave it linked down below in the info box so you guys can check it out. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you did find it helpful, if you learned anything, if you found it entertaining. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.